When a fluid is at rest in a gravitational field, like the one due to the gravity force we experience on Earth, it will exert a pressure force acting on any surface surrounding it and on any body submerged in it. This is the direct consequence of the Newton's second law. This is fluid statics. Now imagine a system that contains a fluid at rest. The body is in equilibrium with respect to the forces that act on its boundaries. Hence, the sum of all the forces acting on the boundaries is equal to zero. The expression you see here will lead to the other static equation that we will see later on. The application of this equation are numerous measuring the pressure using different instruments such as a barometer and manometer, calculating the pressure load that a dam should sustain, estimating the intensity of the pressure that will act on a submarine, and so on. Gravity itself acts as a body force on the fluid this because the fluid has a mass and a force will act on the fluid in the direction of the gravitational acceleration vector, creating a pressure variation in the fluid. However, a fluid can also experience artificial gravity due to external acceleration. For example, the centrifugal acceleration generated by a spinning centrifuge, where the spinning motion will push the fluid toward the sides of the container. The scope of this course is to examine the static pressure variation in fluids due to gravity and its applications.